Hey, Dave here with Rain Networks, and I just wanted to kind of show you guys today uh, some basic navigation in Ninjio. So when you land into Ninjio, you are in this reseller mode right here. And what we're going to want to do is you really only do two things in here as the end user here. Uh, you're going to A, add companies to your multi-tenant list up here, which we'll look at in just a second. Um, and here's how to do that new customer. You can just go ahead and fill this out in here and hit create. Uh, the other thing that you do in here is create new users. Like if you wanted somebody to have, be able to manage the portal and all the tenants as well, like Danny, Nathan, um, except for example, uh, the multi-tenant, once you add a new customer, the multi-tenant window will be up here. And I made a demo tenant here, ABC Managed Services. There's my reseller one we were just talking about and we were in. And if I wanted to hop in and I made a new customer, you can see the customers that I've made here. So. If I hop into Dave's company here, we see the portal. And this is the where we could do things like send trainings or when you first get a portal going, you're gonna wanna add users and groups, like who can get the trainings. Um, there is this import button right here and you can download this CSV file right here and upload it there. Uh, also adding a new group. Uh, if you wanna add a new group, and I definitely recommend this if you're doing the monthly cadence because we use tags to tag the group for monthly cadence. So make a group and you can see our groups I over here. I haven't made one in here yet. Let's go to my other one here and hop into this guy right here. So over in my groups, uh, you can see the groups that I've made over here and you can see the users I've added and you can see what groups they belong to. So cool. Uh, the other thing that you could do is if you wanted to send some trainings, you could either send a phishing or a training. You could do that by clicking here, come to this new, this will show all the library. I like to put SO8 in here, uh, SO9, 9 is the latest. This is all of last year's content. So you could send that here and walk, walk through selecting one of these that you want and clicking your Ninjio training enrollment email, which looks like this. Um, and then just going and selecting next and choosing who you want to send it to and when you want to send it, right? So cool. Uh, the other thing that you want to know is when you create a new simulation, notice they say new here. You just want to make sure to click on it and start it. It'll get turned to scheduled. And then if you wanted to look at the phishing content here, we can click on new to look up all the templates here. Um, see which one that we want. There's a difficulty on all of these. Some of, most of them have the emotion tied to them on what they're playing on. So we can click on info, take a look what that looks like. Uh, if they click on the link, it goes to this fake web page. If they re uh, submit some data, it goes to the silent web page. So yeah, um, the other thing that, the last thing I just wanna show real quick would be the reporting on the training reports section right here. Um, you could download the full admin report. You could schedule this downloaded admin report to go out. Um, it'll show you things like a leaderboard. There's a little gamification aspect to it. Um, using engagement points and then also things like user performance and then the training engagement as a total But yeah, just wanted to get this out there uh, Thanks a lot and have a good day